Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I'm um, doing this video finally. I, I saw I saw Boar over the weekend, which is on the Shutter app, and and you know it's it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna say go check it out. So if you don't know what Boar is, Boar is basically it takes place in uh, Australia, and there's this killer boar that's humongous. I mean, it's giant, uh, and it's going around and killing people. Um, there's no reason it needs to kill people there's not like a oh man there's a experiment gone wrong thing no it's just a giant boar who looks like he's been through some shit and he's killing people he comes across you he's killing you and so that's the basis of the movie and um it, it's like one of your typical you know b-rated movies uh as the acting stellar in it no but is it horrible no um, it's, it's a fun little popcorn movie and I really enjoyed it. Um, there is a couple things I wish without giving any spoilers, you know me, I don't like doing spoilers in this, but there's a couple things I wish they would have done, like, uh, explain a couple of people, like characters, like, so you have your basic of characters and you get a little bit of story about them or, you know, you get, you get introduced to them. So you know that they're there, and if they come up later on, some did, some some show up and they're talking, and then they disappear for a while, and then they came back. Um, but there was a couple characters they didn't set up at all. It was just like all of a sudden they were showing them like we're supposed to know who they are. That was my one little gripe about this movie, really. Um, uh, it, like I said, it was like all these people are established, and then all of a sudden there's just these four people that just randomly are camping out in the bush and it was like you already knew who they were and I, I don't feel like they introduced those characters properly um, I, I wish what they would have done was there was a scene where they go to a, a liquor store this, the, this one group of people that are in the movie and like to me I feel like if they were walking out of the liquor store while the uh while, while they were coming in, just kind of like, oh, I can't wait to go camping or something. At least you have something like, oh, okay, they're out there. Not just, hey, here's these group of people that you've established and you know they're out there for a reason out in the bush. Like I said, it's, it's Australia. Um, but uh, there's this group of people here that come across these other people eventually, but you know why they're out there. This group is all of a sudden, it's like these scenes with them and it's like, Oh, I I was sitting there watching the movie, and I was like asking my friend who was watching it with me, like, did have they introduced these people yet? I I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think we, we I don't even know who the hell these people are. So to me, that's my one little gripe about it. Uh, it's they did a lot of practical effects. Uh, the the gore is pretty good in it, um, and the, even the board, the board was a practical effect, and it it's he looks great. There's. <laughs> One or two scenes, you could tell the CGI was, you know, where they used the CGI because it wasn't the greatest of CGI. But it was also bad either. Like I said, it, it's like the majority of the time with the boar, it's practical effect. And I really appreciated that. I really liked that. That's, you know, I, I really, I, if as the Terrible Terror would say, uh, Brian uh, from Terrible Terror Podcast, he would say that too. Like practical effects are great. Um, Dave from uh, Phantom Dark Dave from Dave's Pop Culture Podcast also we're all guys who really appreciate a practical effect more than the CGI. And I understand that there's certain things you just cannot do a practical effect for and you need the CGI. And I get that. Um, the only other gripe I would have with this movie is the end. Um, how they, how they ended it. Like, I, I don't want to give anything away, but it was just like, the, it, I felt like it ended too abruptly. Like it should have been a little bit more, towards the end and then some people that show back up in the movie that you thought were going to be gone they just show up and it's like well how how are you still alive uh but yeah i don't know anyways i i, I would say suggest it i would suggest it for you to go check out if you're looking for a just a, something to kill some time it's not a very long movie um you might need the subtitles because they're all in a australian accent how's your boy uh, and sometimes there's a couple of times, crikey, it's kind of hard to understand what they're saying, Sheila. Kangaroo Jack. Oh, that's just being 
stupid now. But anyways, and I, there was one thing I really wish. I was kind of hoping that Paul Hogan just somehow showed up in this movie. Like, Crocodile Dundee just happened to show up. Like, even if it was just... It would have been even great to have a cameo of, of Crocodile Dundee. You know, Paul Hogan playing Crocodile Dundee. But, um... Or... Just like him showing up and making like a reference, or him just showing up and maybe just getting like a, it was like a quick kill or something. That to me would have been awesome. You know, I mean, you haven't seen Paul Hogan in I don't know how long, and it's a movie in Australia, based in Australia and everything. <laughs> There's also a little bit of um, cheesiness during some of the, the, the scenes. But once again, I'll let you check that out. If you um, haven't seen it, Go see it. It's on the Shutter app. It's a Shutter exclusive. So if you don't have Shutter, it's gonna you can't really watch it. But um, if you're a horror fan, then you're you probably have the Shutter app. Uh, so I'd say go check it out and please give the podcast a follow. Uh, I am on Apple Podcast. I uh, I just got on Google Play and Cashbox. I am on uh, you know Spreaker. Spotify. I mean, you can find me in a lot of places. So go rate and review, please. Uh, you can find, you can get in contact with me through my Gmail, uh, my Gmail at paranormalpat64 at gmail.com. And you can also always reach me on Twitter, Instagram, and IGTV at paranormalpat64. You also, if you're watching this on YouTube, Paranormal Pativity Podcast. So go check it out. Like I said, these movie reviews are always, I always say this and I'm going to probably have to stop saying it pretty soon because it's probably starting to get old for you guys. But I do these movie reviews as just a separate part of the podcast. This is a paranormal podcast. I just did an episode about Bloody Mary on an urban legend thing I've been kind of doing lately or, you know, folk tales. Um, Urban, I uh, just did Bloody Mary, so go check out that episode and get back to me. Let me know how how um, you guys like the if you enjoyed the episode or not, or if you have a story or you want an ex- you want to talk about an experience. I'm always down for that too. So just get a hold of me. So and until next time, deuces.